Hello again, Pastor Keith here coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town, the island of Hawaii, Oahu, state of Hawaii. I need coffee. And it's morning prayer for Tuesday, June 21st. And the reading is from Ephesians 2. Paul writes, So then, remember that at one time you Gentiles by birth called the uncircumcision by those who are called the circumcision, a physical circumcision made in the flesh by human hands. Remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one, has broken down the dividing wall, that is, the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances, that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, putting to death that hostility through it. So he came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. So then, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints, and also members of the household of God built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In him, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I have a couple different prayers I could could offer here today, but I am going to pray this one, I think. There's another one I had in mind, and I don't know where it went. I like this one. E pule kako, let us pray. Draw your church together, O God, into one great company of disciples, together following our teacher Jesus Christ into every walk of life, together serving in Christ's mission to the world, together witnessing to your love wherever you will send us. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, may the God of grace, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit protect you this day, and always. Amen. Go in peace. Share the good news. Thanks be to God.